Yes, the news just in is that Mark has persuaded us to return to the glory days of being on Thursdays with his amazing Fab Four Facts. So we're going to hear them now. They usually to do with the Beatles, is that right? Are you doing that now? Is it? That's correct, Elliot. And uh, do you remember that you have uh, a part to play? With your, I do. Well, you know, I, I, the now, fact I, one and so now, on which so forth. order are we doing it in this? Because I always went fact five, fact four. Now, start off with four going downwards. No, no, no. Start with one I, going I'm up. I'm a traditionalist. One, two, three, four. Okay, yeah. let's hear. This let's go for it then. Okay. Exciting, isn't it? Well, this is the first ever Fab Four facts on Wandsworth Sunday roast. Mm-hmm. And if there was one thing the Mop Tops liked, apart from making catchy pop songs and claiming to be more famous than certain deities, it was a good Sunday roast. As these four facts prove. Okay. Are oh, we starting? Have we? I yes. thought, I thought you, that was leading into a fact. Well, it was, but oh, I, I didn't know, like within this sentence. I did, I did a the fact intro. Was coming. Oh, I did. You know, well, I can't see the piece of paper you're holding, prove. can I? Okay, so are we on one or four? We're on one. I haven't changed yes. much, have I? No. Number one. A roast dinner is best enjoyed hot, and the greatest source of heat is, of course, the sun which inspired George Harrison to write a song called Here Comes the Sun. Number two. Fact two. Oh, poo. Fact two. You need cutlery to eat your roast dinner, and of course on a Sunday, you might well use your best silver cutlery. The Beatles like silver implements so much, they recorded a song called Maxwell's Silver Hammer. (laughs) Fact three. Don't laugh, it's true. Condiments are another vital part of a good Sunday roast. And when the Beatles needed a name for a band led by a lovesick military man, Pepper was their first choice, (laughs) ahead of salt, mint sauce and Coleman's mustard. Fact four. Not everyone likes their greens, especially kids. But Beatle John Lennon wrote a song imploring us to give peas a chance. Ah, there you go. It's good to be back. Isn't it wonderful? There you go. And I kept my amateur professionalism in there.